Well, you are ready to tackle the statistical side of your Masters of Divinity project. My name is David Shrigley, and I am the uh, Chief Academic Officer at Nations University. And I'm going to walk you through a short video on interrupted time series analysis. Um, it can be done very simply for a very simple answer using an Excel spreadsheet. And that's what is up in front of you now. And we're going to show you some examples. And then we're going to walk through the process of how to do this. I've chosen attendance because that is what many people are interested in measuring when they have a project of some kind. Say they want to talk, preach on how important it is to uh, fellowship together and they want to see if their preaching that series of lessons uh, helped. And so that is what is on the uh, screen in front of you. Uh, and I'm going to show you how it's set up basically. An uh, interrupted time series analysis is when you measure something before you do a project and after you do a project. So in this example, we have 52 weeks, as you can see here, or a year of data. And that data is attendance data. So you can see that on the first week of this year, we had 101, second week, 99, all the way to the end of the year. And the project is labeled either zero or one. And so zero means there was no project. So this is before the project. And so zero is all the way down through week 27 or really week 26, uh, 27. So you're going to meaning that it's going to look at your attendance before you implemented the project and the zeros tell you it's before. And then the computer will look at the program will look at your attendance after you conducted the experiment or the project. And so here is the one showing that this was after the project. So that's all there is to it as far as setting it up. You simply put um, your label over here, your column to designate whether it is before the project using zeros or after the project using one. And then you list your data here, and that would be attendance. This is this Sunday morning attendance? It could be Sunday night attendance, if that's what you're focusing on. It could be anything, but it's something where you're measuring consistently over a period of time and have the data to put into the system. When you run a regression, then it will tell you the relationship between the, the numbers here. And so what I did first was I highlighted the uh, two numbers, the project and the attendance, and um, I charted them. Actually, the chart is just attendance. And so we can get a trend line and set, look at this and say, okay, well, looking at this, the numbers are kind of all over the place. Uh, the dots represent attendance numbers, but there is an increase and that's what you would hope. But of course, it goes all the way back to the beginning before your project uh, was implemented and gives you the trend line all the way through. So it's not super compelling because it looks like, well, we're just doing well from the beginning on. But if you look at the dots, you see that a lot of them are below the trend line and some of them are above. And then somewhere along in here, rate 27, you start implemented the project, the number the trend line continues to go up. You're seeing a lot more dots above the line, actually just spread out all over the place. So that's a trend line. It helps to some extent, but it, we want to know, did the project really do any good? And so what you would do is you would then run a regression. And so you'd go to data and you would select data analysis. Uh, if your data analysis doesn't show up here, uh, you can look online and ask for help turning on data analytics uh, in Microsoft and it will show you, um, actually I'll show you real quick. You go to file, you go to options, and then you go to data, and then you go down and make sure that the, um, oh, Oops, sorry, click on add-ins, my bad. 
and then make sure that analytic pack is here. If it's not, it says applications that are active right now. If it doesn't show an analysis tool pack up here, scroll down, find it down here, click on it, and then click OK, and it will add it. So go to add in, file, options, add in, and then put it in. Uh, click on it if it's down here. If it's already there, it is going to show up when you click on the data button or data tab up here. You click on data analytics, and then you find regression, and that's what you'll do. When you run a regression, uh, you tell it OK. It's going to ask you what you're going to compare, and you are going to compare the y-axis and the x-axis. So you're going to click, and you're going to select the number that you want to analyze. That's going to be your y-axis. And of course, that's it right there. Uh, and then you're going to select the x-axis, which in this case is the, uh, the project itself. So it would be all these numbers. You would highlight it all the way down there, hit Enter. And then now you've got your range. Uh, click on labels because you want it to pick up the label at the top of the uh, page. And then tell it to put the output range. Just click on a cell somewhere next to your numbers, and it'll put it right there. That's how that works. And then I'm not going to run it because I already have, but we're going to do it again in a minute. But when you do that, it's going to give you this output. And that's what you want to look at kind of in comparison to the chart that you made. There's two numbers that you're interested in. One where it says project is p-value. You know, hopefully, that in statistics, a p of less than 0 0.05 is what you want. Uh, that means that there is a less than 5% chance that the uh, variable occurred by chance or the impact of the variable was by chance. If you look at this graph, uh, you can say there's definitely something going on. The p-value for the, your project is 2.93e to the uh, negative 05, which is scientific notation. Here it is in uh, non-scientific notation. That is a lot less than 0 0.05 because uh, this is 0 0.0000293. So clearly your project had an impact. The question then becomes, to some extent, how much impact? And I don't want you to get this confused with strength or anything, but the R square is the number that tells you how much of the change and how much of this variance is caused by your project. Uh, so this says, if you could loosely translate it, 29.7% of your uh, this change that we see was caused by your variable. It definitely had an impact, but maybe it did not have a huge impact. Uh, you really want this R squared to be well above 0.5, preferably 0.7 uh, or higher would be ideal. So R squared being 0.3 basically is not great. It means you had an impact, but because of all of this scattering of the data, it can't give you a great result. You just don't know. So assuming that, uh, that so that's that data. I'm going to show you on another chart uh, another way to look at this. This is the same information. I just changed the data for after the uh, experiment and before the experiment to create more diversity, if you will. So. Again, you can chart this and you can see the trend line. It's similar, it's actually sharper, it's steeper, and that's good. Uh, but you can also look at your data and realize, look, this one is, all the data over here is below the line. Most of the data over here is above the line. If you're really interested in getting a better representation, you can grab and do a chart that shows your attendance before the project and after. Clearly your trend line was going down and now it's going up. So clearly there was some impact by your project. If you run the same statistics, you're going to get your chart again. Run the click on data analysis, select, run, tell it to put the end results here. When it runs this time, because of the change in the data that you can visually see here, you also get a change in your output. The p-value is now 10 to the negative 14. Look at that number, that is way below 0.05. Uh, 
That is point zero 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 one nine nine. That is clearly a significant impact of your project. Did it do a better job? Does this data show that your project had more influence? You look at the R squared and now we're at 0.69. So there's still some other variables out there that might explain the increase, this change that we're seeing here, but clearly your project had a significant impact on that. So that's what you're looking at. Was it statistically significant? Yes. And was it how much influence and impact did it have? And this tells you that it had a pretty significant impact. Again, this is significant, but the impact was much lower, usually because you can see all this other uh, scattering of the data. This one, again, there was scattering, but you can, it makes sense. Part of it was down here and part of it's up here. So again, you can represent those in these charts. So that's how you can use an interrupted time series to see if your project had an impact on your uh, attendance or whatever trend you're trying to change. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now is do the report for you so you can kind of see how it works. So here it is blank and we're gonna start out and we're going to, first thing we're gonna do is we're going to chart our attendance. Let's just get an idea of what this looks like. And so I'm gonna go in here, I'm going to insert a scattergram right there, right there. And there it is, uh, there's your scattergram and it shows you kind of the data and it looks similar to the previous one we did. You can turn that on and add a trend line and there's the dots that you would can see again. Uh, and that gives you some good information you can also adjust the uh, scale that we're looking at to give you more information. You click on the scale and then you click on the diagram and you click on access options and change the minimum to 80. So now we get a much better view of the scattergram for uh, this chart. So that's what I would recommend to you to do if you're wanting to get a better visual. And that kind of says, okay, here's the trend lines. These are the same numbers, so you can see this over here going down, and then you see it going up. So again, visual, but not statistical. So now we're gonna go back and we're going to add the statistical component. You're gonna go to data. You know, Let me click over here first to clear everything. I'm gonna go to data, data analysis, click on regression, click on okay. It's gonna remember your last regression, so we're gonna do this one as our y-axis. There's attendance, that is correct. We're going to do the uh, project as our x-axis or your variable. And we're gonna hit enter. We want it to pick up the labels and we want the output range to be where we click. So we're gonna click okay. And now it's gonna run the report. Again, this is the same information. So it's gonna look exactly the same you're gonna be able to see there's the R squared and there is the p-value that you need to see. Again, this number needs to be less than 0 0.05 uh, and this number needs to be 70 or better, 0 0.70 or better. 69 is not a horrible number to have. Uh, it definitely shows that with the clearly visual uh, support that there was a change in the attendance you could write this up very easily and say that your project had a significant impact uh, and it had a fairly good fit with the change in the data. So you can be fairly confident in this scenario that your project, whatever it was, had an impact on the attendance at your congregation. Hopefully you will try this uh, on your own. It is very simple. Again, this is not, very advanced. This is just for you to be able to show statistically that there is some information, uh, there's some impact by your project. Don't, uh, don't go around saying you can change the world. Just say your project made a change in your congregation. Again, there's another video on the t-test that I hope you'll watch as well, uh, done by some, somebody else uh, that I pulled off Facebook. But this will help you with this uh, part of your project. If you have any questions, uh, be sure and email me at davids at 
nationsu.edu. Uh, and I think that will take care of us.